we're back. No apologies. Um, that was good. Yeah. I look forward to that social I justice. I do too. There's it's going to so be a good much discussion. Meat and potatoes in that conversation. All right. So next up, we I want to talk about Fufang. <laughs> Fufang. I just. It's really fun to say, Fufang. but Fufang. So interesting. I had not even heard about the name Fufang, Fufang until you brought it forward. So I did a little looking into it, and, yeah. and then just after that, people started sending emails about that same yep. topic. So, so folks, we uh, we had to record Monday night, and so. Unfortunately, we're recording Monday. There's a protest. city council meeting and protest on Tuesday, Tuesday, and you are seeing this the day after. So, so nevertheless, we're not timely, but fine. we are not. <laughs> Pull up our first uh, story here. This is from Grand Forks Herald. Fu Fang Group gets big early nod at council meeting. So here, let me tell you what's <clears throat> let me tell you what's happening. What we're looking at is a big old Chinese corporation, mm -hmm. right, which has very close ties to the Communist Chinese Party mm -hmm. looking to put a huge plant mm -hmm. in Grand Forks. A corn milling facility corn in Corn milling, Forks. wet corn milling. Wet corn milling. Um, pull up the next one. Uh, the Fufang deal comes to another Grand Forks City Council vote on Tuesday, February 22nd. That's yesterday for you folks. Um, <clears throat> and now, what I wanna talk about, there's a couple of issues I have with this. Okay. Number one. Subsidies all over the place. Well, Corporate we just welfare talked about that earlier. all yep. over the yep. place. Yep. What we're looking at is Fufang Group wants Grand Forks to. <laughs> yeah, I cannot laugh. I, just, you know what it goes through my head every time you say that? Uh, fang Fang. That's that's the problem. And we'll go about that. We'll talk about that later. I'll tell you what that I is. I know not of what you speak. Okay. I'm glad. <laughs> so back to Fufang. Um, stop now. What they want from Grand Forks and what Grand Forks, I believe, is going to give $96 million in infrastructure subsidies. Wow. As well as 20 years of property tax abatements, where for the first 10 20 years, years. 20 years? First 10 years, they, they don't have to pay for 90% of their property taxes. And for another 10 years, they don't have to pay 75%. Okay. That is generous. It's very generous and unnecessary. That's on top of $150 million. I voted no. That the legislature said, hey, we're going to spend $150 million bucks to get a natural gas pipeline from the Bakken over to the eastern part of the state and Grand Forks. And interestingly, it's also said that, you know what, the 2023 legislature is probably going to have to spend more on top of it. So everyone is all in on Fufang and subsidizing this situation. Now, what I would say is this is a $750 million plant. This Chinese company, doesn't even matter for this part of the uh, argument that it's Chinese, this company is already planning on coming. You don't need to give them $96 million in infrastructure and property tax exemptions. They will come anyway if you want them to. So, Stop harming your taxpayers. Okay, number two. Okay. China. Yeah. Okay, this is the other part. Now, China, we've talked, Lori, about, yes, do you, if you remember Belt and Road. Yep. Folks, if you're longtime viewers, Belt and Road. China has an initiative around the world to do these huge infrastructure type projects yep. because they want to be able to have influence globally. They want to be able to leverage all the countries in which they have huge projects to not go against them when they say, for instance, invade Taiwan. Well, or, and for instance, China plays the long game. Persecute they the Uyghurs. That. Yeah, they understand the long game in China, and so that's what they do. They they do this insidious creep. They go into the you know yep. educational institutions, the infrastructure, all of the things, because they know if they can do that over the long haul, they can control anybody else in the long run. Absolutely. So here's the thing: this this wet milling, uh, this this corn milling plant, <clears throat> they say is going to help with corn prices for the farmers. Hmm. I mean, that's nice. I don't know that it's worth the $150 million pipeline plus $96 million of infrastructure plus, plus however no many millions of property tax abatements. Let's just say it is. It's not. Let's say it is. Is it worth it doing business with a country in which the director of the company has direct ties to the Communist Party? Right? Is it worth it doing business with a country that has horrible human rights abuses? Exactly. Is it worth it? doing business with a country that is stealing our intellectual property, with a country 
that is spying on the United States with a country that is going to use this so that we have to rely on this, their supply chain mm -hmm. because we will become dependent on these types of facilities so that we can never go against them because we have lost all leverage whatsoever. It's really troubling. Additionally, there's a security concern. Why, why is it right. important that they go to in Grand Forks? They have a direct line of sight, mm -hmm. I kid you not, with the Grand Forks Air Force Base, and we have the number one drone program in the world. Does that not Coincidence? raise concerns? Anyone? Now, <laughs> right. Right. Ding, 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 Senator ding, red Kramer, flag. Senator Kramer, thankfully, is raising some alarm bells. Right. He's saying he's skeptical. Yeah, he has expressed concern. Yes. Um, on the other hand, Governor Burgum and Senator Hoven, Are they're all on board. It. They're on the train. Woo, woo. Give the subsidies, corporate welfare, bring these folks in. I think just on a very visceral base level, you can look at this and think, is it really a good idea to get involved with China in any way, shape, or form at this point when, I don't with know what's why going on there. That's so amazing to me. Pull up our next story. China's Fufang Group plans to build its first U.S. plant in North Dakota. China is so happy. You see, China matters for America. Did you know that, folks? Wow. China matters for America matters for that China. Like America matters for China. I'm it sorry. is propaganda. I'm just saying. Okay. But again, our, our Governor Burgum and Senator Hoven are more than happy to spend taxpayer money on corporate welfare and, in fact, Senator Hoven has a history of having some issues with special China deals. Pull up our next graphic. This is from 2010 from Governor Hoven at the time. Our cur current Senator Hoven, former Governor Hoven, uh, from his office, China Trade Mission creates educational opportunities for North Dakota universities. If you remember correctly, Dickinson State University had the huge issue with the, yes. the Chinese diploma mill debacle. Right. Huge, huge fraud missing money, people fired, I believe, a suicide, and we still have no answers. So I think that we have a history of dealing with China that hasn't gone so well. I would say what we see here are things that make you go, hmm. hmm.